place. Let's see, uh, you're not too lonely here. What we're gonna do is. If I had known how quickly the town spirit could be crushed by one man's death, they make it too easy, really. It's hardly any fun. Yeah, so we're gonna get to this or what? In a hurry, are we? Funny. You had all the time in the world to follow me at a distance, but suddenly in person, you're in a rush to leave. Well, I'm not about to be your apprentice or anything, and don't think just because we're using your tactics that I condone them, because I don't. But I'm not above using my enemy strategies to get what I want. And I'm not about to do an enemy a favor. So if you want my help, and you obviously do, then you better stop referring to me as your enemy. That's the deal. I help you with this case, and you scrub me from your ledger. Okay. So, what can you do? What can I do? Excuse me. What's that for? Wait and see. Do you have the hair we found on the body? Uh, yeah. There you go. What do you see? Give me a second. Well, what do you see? Do you want to find out or what? Unfortunately, nothing natural. I don't recognize him, but he's tall and gaunt, feral, hairy. Not entirely humanoid, but perhaps this isn't, this isn't his typical form. You're not talking about a werewolf. I'd recognize one if I saw one. This is something different. Something less civilized. It looks like he's wearing, or was wearing, some type of fur. Not his own, but something like they'd have up north where it's cold all year round. How far up north? Far enough that they're not bothered by PETA. Canada? But what's he doing down here? I don't know. All I see is him running through the forest and smearing life blood on his chest. The rest is up to you, paranormal investigator. It's a start. Looks we have an idea what we're dealing with. Just got to do more homework. We? Since when is there a we? You wish. But, um, if I need to look into your bowl, I'll be back. Yeah. But my door is wide open to the PI community. If you come back, it'll cost you. You owe me a clean slate. Not a problem. Still having trouble sleeping? Yeah, seems like every minute of rest I get, it's broken by ten times the nightmares. What are the nightmares like? Oh. Gin and tonic with lime, please. Yes, ma'am. 
coming right up. Say that uh, don't trust you. Have you tried a dream catcher? Can't say that I have. Couldn't hurt. The Lakota legend says that a willow hoop with feathers, horse hairs, beads, and offerings woven into a web will catch and maintain the good dreams and let slip the bad ones. And where do the bad ones go? They escape through the center of the hoop, leaving the dreamer's life stream in peace. At this point, I'm going to try anything. Where do I get one from? I've got one. I could give it to you. I don't really need it anymore. You sure, man? Yeah. My life stream is frozen solid. No dreams, bad or good, breaking the ice these days. Well, if you're sure, thanks. No trouble at all. I'll uh, drop it off tomorrow before close of business. Maybe it'll help you find peace of mind. <sighs> really need to catch up on some sleep. Could use your help. Who are you? Where did he go? Have you seen him? Ooh. He was a soldier. Yay tall. A beautiful man. Honest and true. He fought for us. He fought for me. Where is he now? This, this doesn't belong to you. Give him back to me. You have taken away my love and I want him back. You know where he is. Give him to me. Give him to me. Give him back to me. You cannot tear us apart. Give him to me. Give him to me. Give him back. Give him back. Alexander, having trouble sleeping? I can fix that.
figure that out. But uh, not right here. Mind if I hop in? Oh, oh yeah, good plan. New car, rental. So where to? A uh, gas station. Looks like you're on E. I am? Yeah. Uh, I guess I am. What happened to your car? Just like you just saw, except I wasn't sitting at a stop sign. Uh, maybe I should drive. <laughs> hey, this one's for you. Thanks, but you didn't have to. Now don't thank me yet. Take a sip of it first and see if it agrees with you. Like I said, thanks. Just want to make sure you stay alive. Speaking of which, what happened to your neck? I've been wondering the same thing, but I can't seem to remember. I've had it for a while now, and every time I think it's starting to heal, the next time I check, it looks worse. Anyways, how long was I sitting at that stop sign? Long enough for me to hear the cars honking, run over a block to see what's going on. I'm surprised the noise didn't wake you up. <laughs> to be truthful, Tuck, a car horn is like sweet music compared to things I've been waking up to lately. Seems like my nightmares are getting worse. Now on top of not getting any sleep, I don't even know if I'm awake or not. What do you mean? It's hard to explain. At first, I was drained and tired all the time. Then I began having these nightmares and I felt like someone was watching me. I tried to run, but I couldn't run fast enough. <laughs> and it was like they would attack me from behind. And it felt so real in the dream that I get paranoid now from shadows when I walk in and out of work every night. It's hard to admit, but it's starting to get under my skin. I'm drinking a lot of these to function during the day, and in order to get any sleep at night, I've tried sleep medications, warm milk, meditation. Hell, I even bought a dream catcher from day one. Any luck with that? Only luck so far is bad luck. Hmm. This morning, I could swear I heard a colonial banshee shrieking in my bedroom. Well, nightmares are my area of expertise. Let me help you so you don't fall asleep behind the wheel again. Can't argue with that. I mean, I could, but I won't. The bar is closed tonight. If you want, you're welcome to come by, take a look around, you know, do what you do. Sounds like a plan. And don't worry, we'll figure this out. I could walk from here, but uh, you stay awake for the rest of the ride, right? Of course. I know the answer, but that's not the point. You'll get caught. If I get caught, which I won't, your name will never come up, I swear. All right, fine. There's a classroom that's always unlocked and open on Wednesdays from 6 to 9. I suggest you try to get out there by 8.30 in case some students from night class decide to show up early. Look, just make sure you don't lose that paper for someone else to find it. Don't worry about me, worry about yourself. <laughs> Why is that? Because your girlfriend is coming in. You can't just leave me here. Sadly, I must. Because you work here. And I have got to be in this room. 261. Toodles. It's team to... fiction that way. Actually, I'm more interested in mysteries, thrillers, suspense. Like this one.
That isn't yours. I can't be here right now. I haven't even gone to sleep yet. I don't want to be. It's all your fault that I am. Give him back, and I'll leave. Tell me again, what's been going on? Sounds crazy, but I can see her. I think I'm starting to hallucinate. Doesn't sound crazy. It might not even be you. It might be something you possess. Tell me, you've been uh, having nightmares ever since you got this, right? Yeah. And uh, this day one, he gave it to you after you told him about him. Except he didn't give it to me right then. He had to go home and get it and dropped it off the next day. I picked it up after closing time. Hmm. Hmm. You know, this might explain your problem. See this? It doesn't belong there. What does that even do? <laughs> Instead of kicking out nightmares and invites them in? Something like that. Either Dave put it there or someone else didn't give it to him. Either way, you got a defective dream catcher. Maybe it's vintage. Might be why I'm having nightmares of a southern bell wreaking havoc in my room and accusing me of stealing the damn thing. It's a thought. Explain why you're seeing her then. Like something from a pawn shop. Either way, it's freaking my mind out. I think I'll sleep better without it. Well, last day, a couple of questions. Maybe get some answers for you. <laughs> I don't need answers. At this point, I just want to get rid of the damn thing. <laughs> One nightmare is bad enough. I'm not looking for two. All right. Well, either way, I'll let you know what I find out. Tell me if you're still having these nightmares. Yeah, thanks. I'll let you know. Day? Day one? Yes. I have a few questions for you. Okay. Uh, mutual friend of ours, Alex, told me that you gave him this. Uh, yes. I was at the bar the other day, speaking to a friend of mine. I remembered I had this, so I decided to help him out. He told me he was having nightmares. And... Anything you tell me about it? Well, if you could think of anything else, make sure to notify me right away. It'd be unfortunate for you if I discovered you withheld any information. Wouldn't dream of it in a million years. Good. Oh, and hold on to that. It looks vintage. Have you forgotten me? Never, Annabelle. But you will forget me. I know it. I feel it. Please don't say that. I'm I could never life. forget you. Why would you even think that? I no longer see you as often as I used to. Haven't you noticed? I feel myself slipping. Losing time. All of the passes you buy like that was on the river and then it's done. And there you are. Forever the same. Not a day older, but drastically different. Why are you dressed like that? What happened to your real clothes? Anna, these are my real clothes. This is just how people dress nowadays. No. How other people dress doesn't matter. Don't let them change you. Or you'll forget me. I won't forget. Okay. What's happening to me? Why can't I stay here? With you? 
Why does the river wash me away every time I find you? Because... Because you are dead, Anna. 